They've styled themselves the People's Army and arrived en masse in their party's bus to a massive audience at the Bay Street Esplanade. After a brief entertainment package, the Democratic Labour Party's candidates got down to the business of giving an account of their stewardship over the last 10 years. In his presentation, Agriculture Minister Dr. David Estwick said the Barbados Water Authority's move to renewable energy is the only real solution for the utility. He says they already have 150 kilowatt systems at the Carlton and Golden Ridge pumping stations, as well as at the Bridgetown sewage plant. And Cabinet has also approved an 8 megawatt system for the Bell pumping station. Every time the fuel clause adjustment increase, the price increase, but we can't pass on the price to you. So can you imagine that when the oil crisis is on and oil prices go up, the Barbados Water Authority has to absorb all of that cost. Between 21 million to 31 million, something's happened in a matter of six months. How the Barbados Water Authority going to survive? Dr. Estwick also commented on agriculture, saying the Barbados Agricultural Management Company recorded a number of firsts, one of them an agricultural commodities trading platform. The first time in the history of Barbados, we have the first agricultural commodities trading platform ever. That simply means for the first time, any farmer in Barbados can go up on the internet and put up what he has for sale, how much, and everybody who want to buy it can look and say, I want to buy it. Whether you're a manufacturer, whether you're a hotel, whether you're a supermarket, whether you are mommy and daddy. Well, Finance Minister Chris Sinclair also acknowledged the heavy criticism for the tax policies which he implemented, but maintained he is not sorry for doing what it took to keep public sector workers employed. I grew up in Dickens. I know what poor people go through. I know what they experience because that has been my experience and I will never do it. I always say to people, if you have to take five cents more out of a man's dollar, it is better to do that than to cut him off and take the entire dollar from him. And Prime Minister Frendel Stewart said the DLP has run Barbados like a country and not a business where the bottom line is the priority. He says too the party should be given another term in office because it still has much more work to do with increasing renewable energy at the top of its agenda. How we use the heat that comes from the sun to generate power in Barbados is now an agenda item for the Democratic Labour Party. And never before, never before, have we had renewable energy generated from solar photovoltaic systems contribute 25 megawatts of power to the national grid. That happened only under the Democratic Labour Party. The DLP's meetings continue tonight with four in various parts of the island. Lisa Broom, CBC News.